Part and parcel of such an extensive redesign of an aircraft is its testing program, a program that involves months of fine-tuning on the ground and in the air. It's a very complicated system, and we need to do it in a very methodical uh, manner to make sure that nothing's overlooked. Uh, we start right from basics, um, setting out to prove first that the aeroplane is still safe to fly, um, and then we expand the testing from there to in include uh, more of the system, until ultimately we've checked out every mode and sub-mode and uh, function of the system uh, to convince ourselves that it's operating as per the spec. At the heart of the updated Skyhawk is a new sophisticated navigation and attack avionics suite. An American team of computer specialists has been on hand to iron out any software bytes that may have developed in those systems. They've been using a powerful computer to test the new avionics on this bench top version of a Skyhawk cockpit. It can simulate flight conditions in minute detail and test the computer programs that control almost every function of the aircraft. ADL is one degree below it. If there is a fault in the system, new software to rectify the problem can be fed directly from the base computer to the Skyhawk. It only takes 10 minutes to completely reprogram the onboard computers. The emphasis in the new Skyhawk is on simplicity. For navigation, the pilot uses a digitizing board to record the coordinates of specific points on his route. When in flight, a visual display automatically indicates the direction he needs to fly to get to the target, the distance to go, and the estimated time of arrival. All that and other essential flight information is stored in this data transfer module, which will eventually be slotted into the aircraft. No longer does the pilot have to wade through thick manuals struggling with mathematical formula. The mission planning computer can cut down those pre-flight computations from two hours to 15 or 20 minutes. Data on everything the pilot needs to do and know, from dropping bombs to how long his fuel will last, is calculated and stored, ready for transfer to the aircraft. All the pilot's vital flight information is passed to the onboard computers in five seconds. The data transfer module also serves as a flight recorder, recording every detail of the mission for later analysis or fault finding. Being a test pilot for what amounts to a new aircraft requires intense training. Steve Moore went to Britain's test pilot school where he was trained to handle almost any eventuality. Is there a little thrill knowing that you're the first? Oh, too right there is. There's a big thrill in uh, knowing that you're the you know, first pilot to uh, fire the country's uh, updated A4. The centerpiece of the new avionics is the HUD, or head-up display. All the information the pilot needs to complete a mission is reflected onto the transparent screen directly in front of him. It's called head-up because in the past the pilot had to look down to consult his maps and dials. Now with the HUD, he can fly without moving his eyes from the sky. Well, basically the head-up display is uh, presenting on the outside world all your uh, flight information um, and you can uh, superimpose with the flight information uh, navigation information or weapon aiming information all presented up there so there's no inside the cockpit work which means that you can now devote a lot more time to looking out so you can uh, low fly much much more effectively than what we uh, used to be able to we've gone on to what's called a uh, HOTAS concept hands-on uh, and stick that means the pilot doesn't have to take his hands off the controls to navigate, locate the target, arm and deliver the missiles. Do you find you have more to do now that you've got more buttons to push? Um, 
No, really, uh, there's uh, there's less to do, um, simply because the uh, the HOTAS concept takes away uh, a lot of the switch selections that you have to make. So. Uh, we used to be a manual switch selection, it's now automatically done by the computer. The Skyhawk may be old by today's standards, but air forces around the world are realising that well-designed aircraft can last beyond their expected years. Project Kahu has made a new bird out of the Skyhawk, and given it the technology to survive well into the 1990s.